we go. Bailey gonna make his way into there, and so is Cogill. So Jackson, a bit more of a direct one, a little flick on there, and there we go, goal from JK. Header past the goalkeeper at Scarborough now, one nil. From Ashley Jackson's throw there. Dead long throw, good set pieces, and I told you. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got when he when he does the um, throws, he just gets some height up. He gets a lot of height onto that throw. You think that you know with a long throwing, you might want to put a bit of power in there, but he always builds with a lot of height, and it just gives you a bit more time to think what you want to do with yeah, that. Yeah, it's exactly that. But we also got a shout out. I saw a, um, Christy Mitch in the ex physio uh, with another with another angle. There we go across it. Oh, there's a goal! There, and he's now Brad Club with a header. <laughs> That did talk about last week. Let's talk about this week in Scarborough. 2 0 up at the moment. Grantham have seemed to have opened themselves up here. And it's a lovely header there by, uh, by Bradley Plant. Right in front of the um, home support as well in the shed end. So uh, a little high fives here by uh, Cogill and Plant. It's looking a good result at the moment. Scarborough 2 0 up in the first half. With the cross. And that's the final whistle here at the Flamingo Land Stadium. Scarborough continue this good run of form at the moment. 2 0 the victors. No goals in the second half. All the goals are in the first half between Jake Day and Bradley Plant. And a really good victory. See you later very much, and I'll see you all. Hold of the ball. Bobby plays a good ball forward towards Luke and about. Yes, in the back of the net. And that's his sixth goal this season. I, I was almost expect, I was expecting the offside flag to go. Yeah, it was, I was, it was a bit out of enough. I thought that like, had nothing you've got to kind of say, really, haven't you? It was a great ball sent forward by Bobby Grant. You've yeah, got to say it got split the, split the, the inside centre back and the. And the I believe back on, on, onto the side of him. And, and it was a great if you've heard any swearing just. We've got some very passionate fans outside. Oh, no, 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 Luke and Roy can be through, going to be two. One on one. Sits down the keeper. Pass him. And it's still there. Luke and Roy. Some of his goals are in. Seven goals now. Luke and Roy. He's got the ball. And he's scoring once again. Radcliffe two. Gains for nil. That is what we're here for. I did say I hope it wasn't the last one. What was that about five, ten seconds later? He did one on one. I'm glad that I've got my Pepsi Max this week. Uh, it certainly will calm me down. <laughs> Whippage on the ball there, and it was a good height, wasn't it? Returning from injury layoff as the Nova helps the ball forward from Richardson's free kick. It's flicked on by. Liam Henderson, Jack Foley in the area, tees up Henderson, can he get a shot at me? Tries to bend one, yes he can! 1-0! Liam Henderson curling one into the top corner on the edge of the penalty box and that is 1-0 to Morbid in the 53rd minute. Hand side. He's got Johnson, Johnson up against Curley, can he beat the defender? Cuts one way, then another, gets in the area. Run, runs in. Oh, he's given a penalty, the referee. Whistle. Right footed. Runs up. Sent to keep by the wrong way. Back to the net. 2 0. 69 minutes. Position and a change of formation for Buxton as Noble plays the ball over the top, looking for the runner, Jack Foley. Foley in the area. Can he get there? Plays it across goal. Oh, it's an own goal. Josh Granite sliding in to try and make sure the ball didn't reach Andrew Johnson at the back post. And in the match, and a brief sentence why is Brian Donaldson tries to win the ball, but it's fading. Can't shield the ball out of play.
Jod, good work from him, but to the left hand side and Wanaka again. Some overlaps here. Up comes the cross. Bain scores! Oh. Magnificent work! And Ewan Bange is off the mark at FC. In 18 and, minutes. And it was good work there from FC. A lovely ball out of the left hand side. That left flank is clearly a happy hunting ground for FC. A great cross from Wanaka. Perfect and perfectly placed the header from Bench. The turn, very awkward there, but Donahue picks up the ball again. Oh, it's a ball. Ball. It is it is a penalty. Puts his hand, there's a little bit of an inquest in the Staley Bridge defence there. Uh, Charlie Ennis at the moment will be trying to make this 2-0. Looking to double their lead, it's Charlie Ennis with the penalty. Liam Hughes, the Liverpool Loney, the man between him and 2-0. And he blasts it into the top of the net for 2-0. And that really was an unstoppable penalty from Charlie Ennis and FC double their advantage and yet again as Ennis scores against one of his old clubs left hand side cross comes in and I think it's crossed the line has it yeah. it has crossed the line and it's a goal right as we move into added time and FC have conceded they could they couldn't deal with that we've played the 48 minutes but there will be a little longer I think of that hold up after the uh, Staley Bridge goal. Andy Halls throwing down the line. Uh, Doc with the battle with uh, Killock. Killock plays it back to Hughes who has to volley it. It's a really awkward ball but that's it. And FC United